What's up, YouTube? How we doing? Matt Modai here with Odds Jam. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the six pick flex option on price picks. Basically, talk to you about is the six the six pick flex profitable? Should you be betting the six pick flex? And in general, just talking about how price picks works, but specifically looking at the six pick option. So I've done the math on pretty much anything that is related to price picks, the odds themselves for each individual number of legs in a uh, entry. Talked about the flex option for three and four. I've talked about the flex option for five. So if there's anything else that you wanna know about price picks that I don't cover in this video, just look for it on the Odds Jam YouTube channel. Just search whatever topic for price picks then Odds Jam and I can assure you it is there. I've talked about what's optimal in pretty much every way you can imagine it. But one thing I haven't done yet, Let's talk about the six pick flex, which is what we're doing right now. So the first thing to understand right off the bat when it comes to price picks is no matter what individual legs you put into a parlay, the payout is going to be the exact same. So, you know, right now I just picked six random legs. It doesn't matter what six or what three or what two, whatever. It's always going to have the same exact payout, no matter what, just something initially right off the bat to keep in mind. The next thing to keep in mind is they fudge the numbers a little bit on their payout. So right now it says like if you on a six pick flex, if you hit all six correct, you will 20, you will get 25 X. It's a little bit misleading because that includes your uh, payout. So like if I put in a hundred or put in $10, the payout would be 250 bucks. That includes my initial investment of 10 bucks. So in reality, I'm getting um, $240 or $240, yeah, $240 in raw profit, I'm getting a payout of $250, um, including my $10 risk. So that's something right off the bat to keep in mind when it comes to the payouts on price picks. So like here, when it says, if I get five out of six, right, I will um, 2X my money. That basically means whatever I risked, that is what I will uh, profit. So I would risk $10 to profit $10. So I'd get $20 back, hence the 2X payout. So they're not incorrect when they're telling you these numbers. That's just including your initial risk. So it's not talking about profit. So in terms of like odds, when you're, if you want to think about it in like a sports betting lingo, plus um, the, if you get five out of six right, that would essentially be plus 200 odds. If you get six, all six right, that would essentially be plus 2,400 odds because that's how the payouts work when sports betting. So when you see the four correct plays here, you see how it says like 0.4 X that you're actually losing money. If you hit four out of six, right now, you're not losing your entire risk. I'd be getting $40 back. So if I risked $10 and I won four out of six, I would get $4 back. I would essentially lose $6 from this interaction. So like, if you want to up this to a hundred bucks and I won four out of six, I would lose $60 because they would give me $40 back. So I would turn $100 into $40 total, not including payout total. So that's how the payouts work. All you really need to know is that six, getting all six right will 24 X your money, getting um, five out of six right. You will basically, whatever you risk is what you will profit. And then here, whatever you risk, just multiply that by 40%. And that's what you will get back. So you will lose 60% of your initial investment. So right off the bat, that's what, how these payouts work. So there's obviously a ton to consider when it comes to the six pick flex. Now, obviously the risk is the highest because you're putting in six player props. The more you put in, the higher the reward, the more the risk. That's obviously the risk reward payout when it comes to, I mean, anything with price picks, right? The safest thing to do is to put two legs. It's actually not the most profitable. The most profitable in terms of value itself is actually the five and six pick flex. So I have up all the math here that I'll explain and I'll try to dumb it down as much as possible so it's not confusing. Just talk about percentages. You don't need to go into the formulas of everything and how this all was calculated. Just need to know the math. Right off the bat, the one thing that you need to know is that this is all based on a player prop win percentage of 56%. So this is, a, all these numbers, are assuming each individual leg. So 
back to like my back to the uh, the um, entry I have here. This is basically assuming each of these six legs that I added each have a 56% chance of winning. That's right off the bat something to keep in mind. Now you might wonder how would you even know what the win percentage is of your bet, right? That's how do you know that? Well, if you use Odds Jam and use the positive expected value page, it'll actually give you player props that have high win percentages and it will tell you what those win percentages are. So like Eagles 49ers, NFC Championship game. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Um, right now, a profitable play to put in prize picks is Jalen Hurts over nine and a half rushing attempts. If you click this little calculator here, um, it's basically telling you that this has a 56% win percentage. So these numbers... 56%. I'm not just pulling out of, um, you know, out of a hat. I'm not just randomly assigning the percentage. You can actually use Odds Jam and find player props that have that high a percent chance of hitting. So that's one thing right off the bat to keep in mind um, in terms of finding plays, like the Odds Jam positive EV page, which is what I'm on now. The Odds Jam screen are two really, really good resources to find plays to put into a price fix entry to that you know have a whatever percent chance of hitting. So that's another thing to keep in mind. This is all based on each individual player prop has a 56% chance of hitting. We're also assuming we are risking $100 because that's the easiest to talk about in terms of percentages. So um, in terms of how the uh, payouts work, if you hit zero through three of your six player props, you will lose the entirety of your risk, right? You don't get any money back if you hit zero, if you hit one, if you hit two or if you hit three. Now, based on the 56% win percentage, there's about a 0.7, I mean, basically just below 1% chance that you hit none of your six. There's about a 5.5% chance that you hit one of six, a 17.5 roughly percent chance that you hit two of six, and roughly a 30% chance that you hit three of six. So if you add all that together, there's essentially a 53, and I mean, I know it's really, really small, but this number down here is 53.82. So it's essentially a 53.82% chance that you will lose the entirety of your risk. And you can calculate the expected value of that because it's basically $100 multiplied by the percent. So if you win zero through three, you're out of luck. You, you're not going to make anything. If you win four out of six, as I mentioned, the net profit of that is you are still losing $60. You're not losing all 100, but you're only getting 40% of your initial investment. As I mentioned here, you are 4.4 xing your initial investment, which means you are losing 60%. So um, there's roughly a 28% chance of that happening, of winning exactly four out of six, 28.5% based on the 56% win percentage. If that does happen, you will get $40 back. So you will lose $60. So the expected value there Basically, this is $100 uh, multiplied by the percent in the payout, roughly 17%, um, or that's roughly negative 17% expected value. Now let's get to the fun stuff with five out of six and six out of six. So there is roughly a 14.5% chance that you will hit five out of six of your plays. Again, this is based on the 60 or 56% win percentage. If you find six plays, that have 60%, obviously the value goes up. Now there is um, an 18% chance of winning five out of six. So just something to keep in mind that this number is can obviously change based on the player props that you add. But there's roughly a 14.5% chance that you hit exactly uh, five out of six. If that does happen, you will profit $100. So you risked 100 to profit 100, which is a payout of two times your investment. So if you, again, if you risk 100, you will get a payout of 200. That includes your initial risk of $100. So that means that you will get a profit of $100, which is exactly what is signified here. So the expected value for that is roughly $14. There's a 14% chance that you will win 100 bucks. The expected value for that is roughly 14.5%. That is if you hit five out of six. Now, the last thing, obviously, the big ticket item is if you hit all six out of six. Now, there's a 3% chance of this happening based on a win percentage of 56%. I can tell you, if you follow Alex Monahan, the Odds Jam co-founder on Twitter, he posts five and six pick flex options all the time. He hits them enough 
for it to be incredibly profitable for him. He has all the data and all the um, the bet history to show you how profitable it is for him playing these five and six pick flexes, including six pick, not just five, but six pick as well. If that does happen, there is a 3% chance of that happening, of you winning all six out of six. If that does happen, you will profit $2,400. You will profit $2,400. So the math behind that, there's roughly a 3% chance of winning $2,400. So the expected value is roughly $74 in terms of the percent chance and the payout. Again, you don't really need to understand the math behind it. Just know that that's how all this stuff is calculated. So if you add all that up together, assuming a 56% win percentage per individual player prop gives you an expected value total on all six legs. So that includes the four chances that you have of losing all 100. It also includes the one chance you have of only of losing 60. 17.6% positive expected value when it comes to a six pick flex. That's really good. I did the math on, so the, I will say this, the math between a five and a six pick flex is essentially the same. So between five and six, they're both really good. One isn't really better than the other. They're both the best. When it comes to expected value, three picks is the absolute worst. And I detail that in uh, in a previous video. Four picks is pretty good. It's better if you do it uh, power play versus a flex. So the, the best value is a four pick power play. But five and six pick flex is even better than that. And I have the spreadsheets to show you that as well. Like I have the five flex. I have the three flex versus power and the four as well. And then I also just have the regular um, payouts for prize picks as well. This was all done by the Odd Jam co-founder. Um, Alex Monahan, who is a math genius. So right off the bat, the implied odds is basically per individual leg. So for five and six pick flex, the implied odds are roughly minus 119, which is the best of the four. So this is of a four leg entry, has the implied odds of minus 128. That's still better than two and three legs, not as good as five. So in terms of like broad prize picks strategy, you should either be doing four picks straight up or you should be doing a five or six pick flex to sum everything up. Again, the math behind it is in previous videos, but for this video specifically talking about the six pick flex, very profitable, very, very good. Obviously the risk is higher. You have roughly a 17% chance of profiting, either doubling your money or 24 x in your money. But because of the payouts, especially if you hit all six, I mean, you're literally funding 24 entries if you hit one six pick flex. So if you hit at a 5% rate, even 5%, you are profiting a significant amount over your initial investment. Obviously, there's variance behind that. It's going to be very frustrating to continually have losses, but you just got to get a couple to hit and the profits are there. So hopefully this video makes sense. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can um, comment on the video. You can also reach out via email, contact at oddsjam.com. But that's all I got. So appreciate everybody watching. If you did enjoy this, just give me a like, give me a subscribe on the Ajdam YouTube channel. Helps me out a ton. And that's it. So appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.